David Truman, first off. Smoke cigarettes, kids. I mean, I used to fuck around with psychedelics a lot when I was younger. Uh, done acid way too many times. Psychedelics, they're good, because you start to visualize music. It's like, not what is the song, it's, it's what space does the sound create, you know? Um, where does it take you to? Every song should take you to a different environment. Are you on the beach right now? Are you in a room having a conversation with a close friend? Are you talking to an audience? Uh, how's, how's the exchange going between two, uh, or more than two people? Uh, or even with yourself, you know? You get those crazy conversations, when, especially when you're on psychedelics, you know? Trying to figure out what's going on with the broken mind of yours. It lets you evaluate loneliness a little bit more, which definitely helps with songwriting, because that's the human condition, isn't it? Jealousy, you need to give a little bit more your time, you see. I'm possessive, controlling, it's obsession you're fueling when you're not consoling me. My passion is never worth an apology. Uh, this is what I'm thinking. I wrote this with Pat. Uh, yeah, He's we'll the dude. <laughs> right. If you haven't checked it out already, check out Stay Awake and Dream by the Elephants. That was my group. We got Patrick Fabio and Matt Jackson Markham. He's right here. Love this guy. I know there's someone watching me day and night. They say it's simple caution, but it don't feel right. So, who's like been a, an artist that just had a huge impact on just how you make music and your overall being? I mean, it's cliche, but I gotta say John Lennon, because like, I love that <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, like, I expected. He's the best, like, just in life in general. Like, when he was young, he was a complete cunt, and then he got older and got socially aware and stuff, and I feel like that just symbolizes the journey everyone goes through from ignorance to uh, observing real problems and stuff. You don't get to be that famous without being a dick to certain people. It's, it's unfortunate, but that's the way it works, you know? There's other people like Stevie Wonder. That guy's oh, incredible. Yeah. I listen to him all the time. Like I Wish is probably my favorite song right now. Yeah, those are some good artists right there, uh, in my humble opinion. It's not that humble. Um. <laughs> if you wanna know what I'm thinking, then I'll scream it out. I think one of the biggest, you know, I say I'm not really about philosophy, but I think one of the best rulers we had was Marcus Aurelius. His whole idea, when he had someone follow him around the empire and say, you are not a god every day, I think that resonated with me, because it's always, you know, you gotta make yourself better. You can't ever think, oh, I'm a god, or, or I'm good. Like, don't ever think you're good. If you think you're good, get out of art. Like, you can think something this is acceptable to release to people, but like, it's never good. You can always do better. Um, so this summer I'm gonna be recording an EP. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna call it yet, but uh, it's gonna be solo. I'm gonna feature quite a few musicians on it. I'm gonna. It's a four-track EP. It's a concept EP. It's about how from the past to now, 
We've gotten more isolated in our expression just to other humans. It's gonna be about how you used to be able to go out and walk down the sidewalk, you know, walk places, well that's crazy. You know, you go out to the pub and you, and you have drinks with people and conversations with people and they don't care what you say, you know, freedom of speech. And so it's gonna go from that classical piece to a jazz song where I'll start to introduce city sounds. That's called The Friend of My Friend. That's more about how, it, it's about jealousy. It's about how you have one relationship with, with one person that you really you spend all your time on. You don't put a, have a mass input of time into other relationships anymore. It's about one-on-one -on -one relationships. After that, it's gonna move into a funk song called No Shy Man. That's about political correctness and stuff and how we can't have conversations anymore. And I'm, I'm saying, you shouldn't try to offend people, but I mean, the whole idea of you can't say this or that is just horribly offensive just to academia as a whole. Uh, and trying to, the free expression of ideas, which I think art, especially music, because you can be lyrical about it, that's what that's about. Some people are going to be a dick, and I'd rather them be open about it. Uh, and as it goes on, there's going to be more and more electronic instruments as opposed to acoustic instruments. And then the last song on it is uh, a math rock song that I'm working on. Uh, that's just going to be about isolation, how everyone is on their phones now. And At that point, I'm going to cut all the nature sounds out of the EP, so you don't hear any birds or rustles anymore. You just hear, you know, jackhammers and cars and all this maddening stuff. So obscene, it's just articulation. Try less teeth and more tongue. This lack of filtration ain't true. Experiment, 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 experiment. That's, when I was four years old, I mean, I grew up playing with Legos. But that shows you as a person, this world is yours to manipulate and make what you want of it. You know, create whatever you can. And I mean, I study science now. I study physics in school and that's, Play with the world around you. See what you can get out of it. See what else you can figure out. Um, in music, you should always be trying to push your own limits as well as the limits of other people. I don't know. It's just silly, all of it, so why not experiment? Yeah, thanks everyone for checking this out. It's been a blast giving you guys insight into what's in my crazy mind, and uh, it was fun playing for you. Yeah, shouts out to be today uh, for making this whole thing happen, and yeah, this is Simple Sessions with David Truman. Close my eyes.